I almost didn't want to make this an option, but I suppose this is Rust, so grief responsibly. Griefing can reasonably be a lot of things, but this video will cover the most efficient ways to maximize damage dealt to a superior enemy, even if it's considered a dick move. I'll cover deployable griefing, TC griefing, and a few other things at the end. When griefing deployables, the most important thing to know is that incendiary shotgun shells and fire arrows are way too strong. In mere minutes, you can destroy thousands of scrap worth of deployables, often deployables that aren't easily replaced, such as SAM sites or helicopters. The main challenge is aiming them well enough to get the fire spawns to damage the deployable. To reach these deployables, you may also need to destroy turrets, which is commonly done with 100 arrows shot by a fully charged compound bow. TC griefing someone involves placing TCs outside their base to prevent them from building a compound, or even building a permanent jump up into their compound if their building privilege doesn't reach far enough. You can also get a little creative with what you do with these TCs. But I'd also add that many groups don't protect their external TCs as much as they should, and raiding an external TC with a part of a base on it is a great way to deal damage to a group you can't otherwise raid. As with any raided base you want to decay, be sure to place the TC disconnected from the base with some upkeep in it, as the base may take up to 24 hours to start decaying. Another griefing solution ideal for roof campers is surrounding their base with watchtowers, obscuring visibility, and likely reducing their frame rate. You can also place sleeping bags and boxes in the towers to get into some extra trouble. Many people know you can use horses to transfer loot through a wall, but they'll also eat plants this way. You can't reasonably eat an entire berry base, but it will let you know if there is a batch currently growing if you want to raid a group's berry base. And while it's hard to target specific players with this, heli bombing someone can also cause a lot of trouble if you're a skilled enough pilot. Bang! He's dead! You can also cause some trouble trapping people with a horse. And let's not forget the most devastating of all, turning off someone's furnaces. I know griefing is a contentious video topic, so pause the video to read my thoughts on it. I also left out some more elaborate options like compounding in someone else's base simply because they weren't cost effective. The time and resources you put in should be in line with the inconvenience caused. And if you want to share your opinion on future topics or just chat about the game in general, you can join my Discord. The link is in the description. I hope this has been helpful, and thank you for watching.